Let's start this video off right. What is going on guys? Now, I did a video a long time ago on my channel talking about the five things I hated about my car. And I thought I should go back and revisit that and do a five things I love about my car. Now, for you guys who do not know, this is a 2012 Camaro RS, the 1LT. So yeah, this isn't the SS, this is the RS, the six cylinder version of the Camaro. And uh, yeah, it's a fifth gen if you don't know that. But yeah, I thought I should go back and revisit that and do some impressions of some of the things that I really enjoy about this car. And also, if you guys can't tell, it is freezing outside right now. So I'm gonna probably spend most of the time inside the car when I'm talking about it, but I'm gonna have some B-roll to show you the things that I'm talking about. But I'm gonna be talking, I'm gonna be inside the car because it's absolutely freezing outside and uh, yeah, I want you to be able to hear me as well because I know it's kind of windy out. All right guys, so the first thing that I really enjoy about this car is the looks of it. Now, going back to my past, I've never really been a big Camaro fan. Like looking back on the older generation of Camaros, I've never really been a, the biggest fan of it. But I do remember when they first brought out Transformers and they brought out this fifth gen Camaro I will say at first, I didn't quite know what to think of it. Then again, I was a lot younger then and I wasn't really into cars as much. But as time went on, the looks of the fifth gen Camaro really grew on me. And when I had the opportunity to buy one, uh, you know, it, that was pretty much, you know, set in stone for me. I honestly, I love the way this car looks. I think the super aggressive angles of everything about it, it looks really nice. When you compare the RS to the SS, they look pretty much identical. There are, you know, so a couple of things that you will notice if you are a car person, but most people, when they see the car out on the road, they have no idea what's the difference between an RS, a SS, the ZL1, the Z28. They have no idea what the difference is. They just know it's a Camaro. So I will say that the first thing I love is the looks. And honestly, for this being just a six cylinder, I've gotten so many people have told me like, oh, nice car, nice car. Like when I was going into like a restaurant, some guy was in there, was like, oh, nice car. Went through a drive-through. Some, some lady, she was like, oh, nice car. You know, people do tell me that a lot. I mean, probably not right now because I, my car is absolutely filthy. Like, filthy, filthy. I need to honestly go and get this thing washed off ASAP. There's salt on it right now. A couple of things that I did do to it is I tinted out the rear tail lights and, uh, you know, put you know, just a couple of stickers on the back just to make the car my own, blacked out the emblems and debadged the back as well. Uh, so I think small things that I did do to my car, I tried to not overdo it and I tried to just make things subtle. Just try to keep things looking stock, but do a couple little things to make the car look like it's my own. The second thing I love about this car is the way that I feel inside of it. Um, I did a video talking about what's it like, how bad is the visibility inside of a Camaro. And for a lot of people, that's a positive and a negative thing. For me, it's a positive thing. I honestly like the way I feel inside this car. It, everything feels very compact and very, I don't know, driver centric. Everything in this car, it, you, I don't know, you, you kind of feel like you're in a Batmobile or like a tank or something like that. I know, insert all of the Camaro comments right now saying like, yeah, you are driving around a tank. Well, you're right, this is a heavy car, but uh, it doesn't change the way that you feel inside this car. For some people, you know, it's not for them. Some people say you feel like you're in a, a casket, but for me, I honestly like it. I'm a pretty tall guy, I'm six foot two, but I'm able to fit in here pretty nicely. If you compare like this generation Camaro versus the Mustang, I will say that the Mustang probably has a, the upper hand on the interior, just some of the little bits. You compare it to other like, you know, compact or um, economy cars, this, this interior does beat out a lot of those other cars. But when you're comparing it to like other things like a Mustang, I would say the Mustang probably has this car beat. And going into like the newer generations, obviously, like the new generation uh, Camaro, it, it honestly looks like a Corvette inside there. But for me, I love the way that I feel inside this car. I think it's a pretty nice interior. I mean, it's not the best. There is some hard plastics and everything like that. But for what it is, I think it's nice and it fits me perfectly. The third thing that I love about this car is the road presence. Now, this could be a good and a bad thing. 
the good thing is a lot of people when they see you coming down the road they usually get out of your way if you're on the highway or if you're just cruising or just whatever people tend to get out of your way people just tend to just notice you more and especially because this car i mean this car is heavier it just i don't know it's heavier and it's wide so it does have a lot of road presence um, when i'm driving like my, my girlfriend's car which is a jeep compass you definitely notice that there's a big difference people don't you know they don't really respect you on the road as much as, as what they would in this car so you know if there was that but that could be a negative thing because of you got a lot of people out there when they see a camaro or see any type of car like that they i don't know sometimes they just want to challenge you or just drive next to you or try to race you or even if they're not trying to race you i feel like they just want to drive fast next to you it's the same experience when you're on a motorcycle people do that same exact thing they just want to drive fast next to you or just try to like get close to you i don't know what that is i really have no idea it tends to happen a lot but for the most part though this car gives you a lot of road presence you know if you are cruising down the highway people tend to get out of your way fourth thing is that this car is a manual transmission and for me that was one of the main reasons why i chose to get this car i think that this manual transmission in here is a pretty decent one this is my first manual car and for me learning on this car i think that this car has done a pretty good job i think that the the shifter and the actual clutch itself it's it's light enough that i can do it you know when i was learning and i didn't feel like i was getting beat up on it but it does have some weight to it that it's not super light um the shifter itself feels nice it feels notchy when you're going in between all of the gears it's not overly notchy but it's just just enough that when you go into gear you know that you're in gear and it's a satisfying feeling uh for me just learning on this car like i said i don't have a lot of experience with driving a ton of other cars i've had gotten into other cars you know tried them out not driving them for a extensive amount of time but in my short time of comparing you know manual car versus manual car i think this is a pretty decent manual car for people who maybe you want to learn how to, how to drive stick or if you just want something that you can daily drive i think that this is a pretty good setup that it's not overly heavy it's not overly light but you know it's it's notchy when you're going through the gears so overall i think that the manual transmission in this car is actually a pretty decent one and then the fifth and final thing is the engine now i know i know this is not the ss it's the rs it's the baby one it's the little baby guy i get that but this still has over 300 horsepower like 300 i think it's like 335 something somewhere like that and the torque is i don't know offhand but it's somewhere in there in that ballpark probably to the wheels you're probably getting maybe 280 maybe like that to the wheels and that still gives you enough pick up and go compared to other v6 or straight six cars uh the amount of power that's coming out of this v6 is you know it's a pretty good amount that gets you from 0 to 60 in about six seconds that's not crazy fast but in comparison though that's you know that's enough to get you up and going and let you have a little bit of fun the nice thing about that is that right now i'm averaging around 21 miles to the gallon and for me that's pretty good uh i came from a jeep wrangler and i came from a mazda 6. for some reason my mazda 6 i was only averaging like 18 19 miles per gallon i was a 2009 and then in the jeep wrangler it was lifted that was averaging and maybe 13 14 miles to the gallon so for me getting up to you know 20 over 20 that's pretty decent and to be able to still have some pick up and go um that's nice I will say, you know, you're not going to be drag racing guys out there and blowing guys out of the water. Going up against any type of four-cylinder, you'll be fine. Especially on the highway, you know, you drop a gear, you have a plenty of power, plenty of passing power to get around people without getting yourself into too much trouble out there, especially if you're driving out in the snow. Like I did in my previous video, the three reasons why I chose to buy this car over the SS. Getting the six-cylinder, it's a good platform to learn on if you want to learn the rear wheel drive manual transmission platform to get yourself acclimated with it and learn how to drive the car and drive the car well with that in mind i think that this engine is the perfect engine for what i needed to do for right now but yeah guys those are the five reasons why i love my camaro let me know in the comment section did i miss anything am i an idiot for saying that i love the engine in a rs or a v6 camaro let me know in the comment section below but thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give me a like. Check out some of the other videos that I've done. I've done a lot of other videos on this Camaro and a whole bunch of other things. So if you like these type of videos, check out my channel. 
Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.